all lived happily ever after. The end. Well, that was a good one. All right, it's time for you to get some sleep. Mommy, could you stay in here a little longer? Why, what's the matter? You need to get some sleep. I mean, that book made me scared, and now I'm thinking about all the things I'm worried about. Like what? Well, let's see. Airplanes, bees, coronavirus, dogs, ghosts, fire, lice, mice, nighttime, questions, roller coasters, teasing, worms, x-rays, zoom. Oh my goodness. And did you just list your fears in alphabetical order? Whoa, okay, honey, well, um, I mean, I can relate. Sometimes I feel scared and worried too. Well, what can I do right now? Because I can't sleep when I'm scared. Well, uh, for me, I mean, stories help. And sometimes when I feel scared and worried, I try to remember that I'm part of a story that's way bigger than just me. And God's story is full of people who were sometimes scared or worried. I tell you what, I have time for one more story tonight. Um, and this story happened at a time when lots of people were scared about many things. It starts in the city of Nazareth, a town in Galilee. Uh, with a woman named Mary. Oh, hi. Uh, welcome. Welcome to my home. Do you want to talk to me? We haven't met, have we? Do you want to hear what I have to say? I do. Pardon me, let me start over. Greetings, favored one. God is with you. Um, what kind of a greeting was that? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you are going to have a baby boy. You will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the most high and kingdom will have no end. How can this be? How is this going to happen? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Also, your relative Elizabeth is going to have a baby, even though people thought it would be impossible. But nothing is impossible with God. Was all of that a question? Oh, hmm. Well, are you asking me if I want to do this? Good question. Uh, yes. Hmm. Here I am, a servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to this message. I need to see Elizabeth. Are you home? I'm coming in. Come on in, Mary. Mary, I have something to tell you. You are so blessed among women, and the baby in your room is also blessed. The moment the sound of your greeting entered my ears, the baby in my room leaped for joy. Here, feel it. Elizabeth, I am also bursting with good news. God took one good look at me, and look at what has happened. I'm the most blessed woman on earth. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. I'm talking about the God who knocked the powerful off their thrones and lifted up the lowly. So, uh, can I stay with you for a few months? Mary is with 
child? Is that possible? We aren't married yet, and the law says that is not good. Not good at all. She claims that this child, the child she carries is actually God's child. My only option is to marry her and then divorce her quietly. That will save my reputation, at least. But she will be disgraced. I don't know what to do, and I am afraid. Oh, Mary. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to get married. God's Holy Spirit has made Mary pregnant. She will have a son. You will name him Jesus. God saves. Because he will save his people from their sins. Huh? I'm going to marry Mary? I'm going to marry Mary! And we are, go we are going to have a baby and, and name him Jesus. I'm going to be a dad. I need to pack. questions. Hmm. Why is, is Joseph packing a bag? Why is he so worried about Mary having a baby? Why is Mary staying at Elizabeth's house? So who names a kid God saves? Why is everyone making such a big deal out of this? It's just a baby. This story is so weird. <laughs> I just... Yeah. I, I don't know the answer to most of these questions. This is a bigger than life story with a lot of, of unexplainable and miraculous parts. 
that sounds like what Pastor Colby says when I ask tough questions. <laughs> Good, I'm glad I sound like Pastor Colby because we just don't have all the answers. Now, I do know the answer to one of the questions. Why is Joseph packing a bag? But to answer that, first we need to meet the emperor. Citizens of Rome, it is I, your Lord and Savior, Good Shepherd, Light, Way, and Prince of Peace, Caesar Augustus. First, I want to say you're welcome for all the great things I've done for you. There's never been an emperor as powerful and glorious as me. My empire is vast, you people are obedient, I'm saving you all, all of you, and you owe me so much, so much. Citizens, I want to count you. Yes, let's get a good head count so that you can all pay me what I am owed. Go to your hometown and register your family so that you can show proper appreciation of my awesomeness. I decree it to be so. Farewell, my faithful children. May you know my magnificent ways. Farewell. Okay, the good news is, I think I found us a place to stay. Finally, this baby is not going to wait much longer. Where did, where are we staying? Ooh, did you get a room at that nice inn I like? The one with the good breakfast? Um, not exactly. It was full. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Sleep outside with the shepherds? Stay out in a stable with the donkeys? What? No. Who would do that? Joseph, this baby is coming soon. I know, I know. The guest rooms are full. But I found an innkeeper who will let us stay in a small space in his home. Oh, good. Yeah, it is a nice space. Lots of hay. Maybe a few animals. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Why? I don't think I want to hear about the birth part. Okay, we can talk about that later. But the Bible really doesn't say much about Jesus' birth anyway. It just says that Mary had the baby and wrapped him in strips of cloth and then laid him in a feeding trough. That's it. But that's important to keep in mind for the next part of our story. That part takes place in a field. Okay, keep going. So there were shepherds outside in the fields watching their sheep, and they were about to be frightened by some powerful messengers from God. 
But soon enough, they learned that there was nothing to be scared of. Glory to God in the highest. Ahem. Ahem. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Is this thing even working? I don't know. Are you people even listening? Ah. Uh, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Good news for all people. The Messiah is born, the Savior. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to all God's creatures. That's all. Goodbye. So, you guys both saw that, right? Um, yes. I can't yes, wait I Yep, that just happened. <sighs> so, we're going, right? I mean, Mom, you're going, going to give me a treat? Do we bring the sheep? I think we have to. Um, what were those signs again? A baby wrapped in strips of cloth lying in a manger. Ah. You won't forget, let's go. Come on, sheep, let's go. Ah. <laughs> That was a miracle. It was just as the angel had described. The baby was wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Friends, we have seen something amazing tonight. I don't know about you, but I feel like the world is changing. Yeah, but why do you think we got to see it? Nobody cares about us shepherds. We're poor and we don't have very much power. I have no idea, but the baby's mother, Mary, acted like this was exactly what was supposed to happen. Maybe this baby will lift up the lowly. And bring down the lofty. Wouldn't that be something? Sure would. I believe there's no limit to what this baby can do. <laughs> hey, Shepherds, was that star there last night? I don't remember ever seeing that one before. Twinkle! 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 Thank you.
our observatory. We are the wise men. Wise people. The magi. We're really more like scientists. Astronomers. We study the stars. We study the stars so well that when something changes, we'll notice immediately. And we just noticed a new star. We must follow our scientific instincts and find out why exactly there's like a new star out there. We now begin our journey. Are we there yet? You literally just asked that. Now? Yes, yes. It looks like we are here. Let's go, camel. Ooh, looks like we arrived in Bethlehem. Why don't you wait outside? Here we are in Bethlehem. Let's look up the local king so we can get some more information. Did somebody say king? That would be me. I'm the big cheese around here. Everybody's talking about it. They all say that I am the most powerful king, the best king Bethlehem has ever seen, ever. We got it. Best king ever. So we are here because we are looking for the newly born king. The child born king of the Jews. We observed his star is rising. And we have come to honor him. Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? I need to make a call. Hello? Put me on with my smart people. This is your king. You know, the best one. Uh, I need to know, according to your research, where will the Messiah be born? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You sure? Bethlehem. Okay. Bye. Hi, wise folks. So yeah, this is great. Go on and find this child and pay him honor. And then get back to me about this so that I too can pay him honor. Uh, sure. Okay. We can do that. Let's get out of here. When we left Herod, he decided to sit around, be jealous, and plan his revenge. He felt very threatened that there was a new leader that people were excited to meet. But we found Jesus, and we brought gifts to this special child. We brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Usually, these gifts are for royalty. Powerful people. Grown men. But we brought these gifts to a tiny, weak, oppressed child. Even though we didn't know exactly what was going on, we knew he was important. This good news would turn everything upside down. Oh, and by the way, we didn't return to that wicked King Herod. Nope, no way. We were one day dream to go home another way. You might say we took the scenic route. And now we return to watching the stars. Those wise people were really brave. They honored the God they'd chosen. They brought him presents. They disobeyed the orders of King Herod. And they made it home safely. Yeah, yeah, they were brave and determined. Everyone in the story was, I think. From Mary and Joseph, the shepherds, the magi. They all recognized that the birth of Jesus was going to change the world. Okay, Trig, are you feeling safe and sleepy yet? Our story is coming to an end. Yes, I feel safe and sleepy, but this really isn't the end. No? Why not? It is bedtime, and we need to get some sleep. Mom, Jesus is born, he grows up, he heals, he changes water into wine, he teaches, he flips tables. <laughs> yes, yes, you are right. Jesus' birth is just the beginning. We have a lot to talk about, but it's late. And tonight, let's just focus on this one special moment, this one night that brought us Jesus. Okay, that makes sense. This is a good story. God's story is unfolding more and uh, more good news every day. And in the end, all things will be made right. Mm. 
It doesn't mean that we won't sometimes be scared or afraid along the way, but we can trust that love and justice will always have the final word. Speaking of the final word, let's hear one final word from Mary, the mother of Jesus. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For you, God, have looked with your with favor on the lowest of your servant. Surely from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For you, the mighty one, have done great things for me. And holy is your name. Your mercy is for those who fear God. From generation to generation, you, O oh God, have shown strength with your arms. You have scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. You, God, have brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have helped your servant Israel in remembrance of your mercy, according to the promises you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah, and to their descendants forever. All right, here we go. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love action. Oh, look, here's my camel. He's patiently waiting for me. Come on, camel. Let's go. Can <laughs> say, a baby? Say, baby. <laughs> a baby? For you, God, have looked with favor on the lowest of your <laughs> servant, <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Dakota, are you going to come to Bethlehem? Oh, <laughs> No, sorry, stay twinkle. No, sorry, stay twinkle. Hi, Katie. Recording.